So we just went and parked the trucks, me and Hayden. Walking back, I looked down and I thought it, it I really thought that this was just a trash bag. Check this old snow goose decoy out. It is yeah. oh. what up guys and welcome back to another one. Uh still in Canada here and today we are going on a big old honker hunt. Today it's gonna be a wheat stubble field and uh the stubble is not very tall. It's gonna take a lot of blinding. It's gonna take a lot of blinding. So we're gonna have to take a rake and we're gonna have to rake our butts off. We're gonna have to fill. What are you doing creeping up on me, Bonzo? It's cold. Yeah, I know. It's really cold. It's like the coldest day of the whole trip today. Yeah. So we're gonna have to rake our butts off today and fill at least one full pickup bed with wheat stubble. Yes. Wheat stubble. This isn't corn, it's wheat stubble, so it's going to be a lot of work this morning. We're going to have to blind 10 blinds, 11. 10 or 11? 10? 11, I think. 11? Yeah, 11 blinds with wheat stubble. A lot of work today. But we found a field yesterday. We had three trucks out scouting. We found a field with 2,000 honkers in that bad boy. So, all big old pterodactyl daddies today. Oh. See, how you feeling though? I feel good. You do? I got some sleep last night, finally. Did you? Yeah. Oh, good. Maybe a little more sleep in the layout blinds early in the morning? Wouldn't oh, it's too cold for that today. Well, I don't know. I got some good layers on. <laughs> Where are you going? Don't be poking I'm out here and not for saying... Bryce. I'm just looking for Bryce. <laughs> He's Might like, leave, him. <laughs> leave me alone. Keep me off the camera. It's too early. <laughs> Run for the hills. Got into you today. We're doing big shoots. I, I just came up the stairs and was like... Making money moves all day, baby. Oh, you just made my morning. Woo! Flare Daddy's just surprising us all this morning. Alright guys, we're eating our breakfast, we're drinking our coffee, getting ready to get on the road, but I wanted to show you guys real quick before we do, all of our lanyards, all of our duck and goose calls, and especially all of our gun straps. They are all back in stock. A ton of you guys, a ton have been asking about the lanyards and especially the gun straps. All of our paracord items are all back in stock. So all you guys that's been DMing me about the gun straps, go down in the description, hit the link for the paracord gun straps and pick you one up because they're all back in stock. Oh, there. Well, oh, look at it. Oh, so pretty. Yeah, the uh, old ducks trailer. It's it's beautiful. Pretty proud of that one, for sure. But if you guys like the old ducks trailer, drop a comment down below. It's a uh, it's a good looking girl. Oh, look at the little trailer today. This is Bryce and Hayden's little homemade rig. Isn't that neat? They killed it with the little homemade rig. That's what it's all about, making it work and saving your money. You know, I always tell you guys, oh, you ain't gotta go out there and spend a bunch of money on a big old crazy trailer. Make your own with some plywood. So what we got going on, we are in a little, little short, 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 short wheat stubble here. We found a little area where the farmer had to pick up his header so it's a little taller. So we're gonna end up sitting the blinds right here because blinding these layout blinds is gonna be absolutely horrendous trying to get us hid because like I said, it just isn't very tall stuff. I am cold. I'm we'll trip our blinds. Easy, Willis. No arguing today, ladies. Sorry, sorry, sorry. But like I said before, the seed sacks, it's a real thing. If you need to haul some decoys for cheap, go buy you a seed sack. Big shooter. Big shooter. Coming Big shooter. at you live. Hey, hold on. Whoa, whoa, whoa. We need to see your stretch it. stretches. Quick, hit it. Hit it. Hit it. Get it. Touch him toes. Every morning, we got to get it in here. Yes. Yes. Holy moly, what all you put in this thing? You fit a bunch in here, dude. How many decoys do you usually fit in here? Eight, nine dozen full bodies. Big, and they're all Bigfoot, so they're not small full bodies. You got some avians up in there. Look what all's coming out of this little trailer. <laughs> hey, man, hey. Boys are the Tetris champions. A ton of them. Yeah, they definitely know how to stack some stuff in here. Oh, 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 oh. oh my god. 
all good. So we're gonna see uh, trying to hide 10 layout blinds, literally 10 layout blinds in this short stubble if uh, if we prevail, but uh, wish us luck. Well, we are all sat down here. Uh, we've had one duck land in the spread. Didn't even know there were ducks in the field. Uh, don't even have duck decoys out, don't have a mojo out, uh, but this spread looks so good. Just check it out. We got them spaced big. Every feed field that we have found, the honkers are just spaced huge. Big, 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 big. We got a U in front of us. Got a wall that goes out that way, wraps right around. And we're sitting on basically like a flanking side. We're sitting in a wall. So we're not sitting right down the gullet, so they're not gonna look right at us. So that's the trick of the day is to sit on the side and do a little bit of side shooting, kind of diagonal, just not straight down the gullet. Where are they? I don't see them. Oh, there they are. Shoot them, boys. Yeah, good shooting, boys. Woo! Give me some. Give me some. First bird's down, baby. Nice shooting. They gave it up. Oh man, show her Bradley. Look at that big old boy. That is a big old beautiful northern mallard right there. Would you say you're gonna enter it in your local contest? Yeah. That is, what, what's, the, what's the contest? Heaviest? Yeah. It's, uh, I like the water. Heaviest mallard? Yeah, game of fish. Bring all your game in, deer, moose, elk, ducks, geese. Enter it for the heaviest weight. That's awesome, look at that sucker. Oh my goodness, just beautiful. Look at his feathers. Look at his colors. Dude, look at the emerald green on that butt. Oh my goodness. Look Orange at the feet. Look at the definition under the butt. Straight line. Wow, that's insane. Wow. <laughs> what are you doing, Joseph? <laughs> Nice! Yay. Nice! I didn't even squeeze the trigger! Nice Woo. shooting. I didn't even pull the trigger. You boys cleaned them up. Woo! Good shooting, boys! That was perfect, boys. Woo! Perfect! Goodness. Talk, Brad, talk about making the change. So we just uh, moved the spread. We took a full leg off and put it behind us, and we're now we're running just a long line. We're running just a long decoy line with a little bit of space in the middle instead of a U. It's working. They just gave it up. Here we go, boys. Come on now. Get down. Get down, you big old donkeys, you. <laughs> The big groups don't like it for some reason. God, why are the big groups working away from us like that? Don't know, boys. Don't know. Unless you dig these two foot deep, I don't know. Hiding four people is one thing. Oh, ho, 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 ho. Well. As you can tell, we did not shoot many. Um, we had one group of geese do it really, really well. Big ol' honkers. About every duck that came did it pretty good. Uh, did not shoot very many. So what we're gonna do is we have a corn field lined up for this evening. We were hoping that we are just gonna bang out the honkers this morning and then in the evening go to our duck field. Uh, well, the goose, uh, the goose idea didn't work out. Uh, you know, it happens, it's hunting. Um, they they came over us. They seen us. We're, but but I'm trying to find my words here. The stubble is not thick enough. It's not tall enough. It's hard to hide 10 or 11 guys out here in layouts. It's just it's darn near impossible. I mean, we tried. We 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 tried. We raked our butts off. Literally raked so much to cover these blinds and the ones in the early morning low light. They liked it. They did it. But 
We're gonna end this hunt here and we're gonna uh, pick it back up in the evening for the duck hunt. It's a standing corn uh, field. It's a silage field, I'm pretty sure. So um, it should be pretty good. The ducks have been there literally, I guess, for two weeks. We checked it last night and uh, they were there all night. So you know how it goes. Yeah, we came up here to Canada. It's a long drive, but birds will be birds. Um, we're hunting small roosts. There's not a ton of birds on these roosts. These are all pretty small roosts, which is good. Having small roosts, I think, is a lot of times better than, than large ones. But again, the problem here is we just can't get hid well enough in this stubble with these layout blinds. There's just no way. Well, yo! We're back at the field. It is the afternoon, and uh, old Hayden dog got us on us a little greenhead hunt here. This is the last hunt of the Canada trip. Tomorrow we're all leaving probably by six in the morning. So I have about a, I don't know, it's probably gonna end up being like an 18 hour drive just cause you gotta go through the border and uh, we gotta drop a trailer off and then stop by Flair. So we're gonna enjoy this hunt. This is the last one of the trip. We, uh, this, this journey has been just that, a journey. We've had our ups, we've had our downs on the hunts and uh, we're gonna try our darndest to make sure that this one works. So I'm hoping it does, and I'm hoping you guys are gonna really enjoy the rest of this video, because this morning was slow. It was really hard to hide in that wheat stubble, so we're gonna give her a whack. Oh, the last time, everybody's having a good time. Just talking, gabbing, it's, we, we've literally just made new family, man. I'm telling you, these trips that I do, um, I always meet a new, really good friend. These, these hunts are more than just going and killing birds. This, uh, this trip, did we want to limit out? Did we want to shoot all these birds? Sure. But this is what we came up here to do, was enjoy Canada for the first time. Uh, actually hunting in Canada. It's my first time in Canada, first time hunting in Canada, and to make new relationships. So it really worked out well. Hayden and Bryce have just absolutely killed it with the scouting, with the hunting, and providing us a place to stay, the food. We all bought food. We have, we've all taken turns cooking every night. It's literally just been brothers, like 11 brothers living together for freaking five days. I'm 32 years old and I'm never gonna get too old for this. So we just went and parked the trucks, me and Hayden. Walking back, I looked down and I thought it, I really thought that this was just a trash bag. Check this old snow goose decoy out. It is literally like a pillow. Look at that. This is Northwind Decoy Company, Devil's Lake, North Dakota. That has to be, I mean, has to be old. That is neat. Isn't that neat? Found it in the field. This is yours. Drop a comment down below. I'm sure it's not because we are in the middle of nowhere Canada. So, no, I don't mean that in a rude way. I just, we're in the middle of BFE Canada. Oh yeah. Look at him just work. Get it, son. Get it. Oh, well, we're in the corn here. We're all uh, standing one, two, three, four rows deep. I hope it works to be dirty. God, why are you nice. mean mugging? Look at him. Yeah. Uh, uh, oh. God. Uh, uh. Joseph. Rick hey, hey, you're, you're going to shoot something today. Oh, yeah. Come on now. Get in here. Get in here. <laughs> oh, yeah. Here we go. They're doing it, boys. Don't move, don't move. <laughs> Shoot him, shoot him. Nice. <laughs> Woo! Well, that was fun. Woo! Oh man, we dropped him out back. We found him, but found all three of them though. Look at that. We got a double. Yeah, old Susie and old Greg. <laughs> yeah. It's old Greg. I'm old Greg. I'm old Greg. <laughs> <laughs> but, uh, he, like Bradley said over here, he was like, yeah, we should have probably let him work one more round. Hell yeah, we should have. But, you know, we're antsy and our pantsy ready to squeeze the old trigger, so. <laughs> oh yeah, the goose hunt call works every time, boys. I do not care one bit. Ah, 
Yep, yep. I'm back in Kansas. What an amazing Canada trip that was. I mean, <clears throat> to go into Canada for the first time in my life, for one, and then for two, for a hunting trip? Oh my goodness. Like, seriously, it was a dream come true trip. And it turned out pretty well, yeah. Did we get into just a mess of them every day and just stack up racks and racks of piles? No, but we did get on a few really good hunts. And more importantly, we made so many memories that I'm gonna take with me the rest of my life. Whether I see all those guys again or not, which I'm sure we will, I will keep those memories forever. So yeah, that's gonna wrap it up for all the Canada vlogs. I hope you guys really enjoyed my Canada series. Big Spect and Flares to come. He has some high, high, high quality videos that y'all are gonna enjoy. Let me tell you what, I mean dope, dope, fire fire videos here. So be expecting those on his channel. I'll link his channel down below. And big thank you to Ducks, all the guys, all the crew, everybody that put in a helping hand, everybody that scouted, to Hayden for letting us stay at the crib, to Bryce for literally helping us set up a spread in the morning and then going to hunt, or I mean going to work the rest of the day. Therefore, just to get off work and help us scout. I mean, unreal help from Bryce and Hayden. I can't thank you enough. But thank you all. Thank you all for being here. If it wasn't for you guys, we wouldn't be going to Canada. I wouldn't be fulfilling some of my dreams that I have because of you. If it wasn't for you guys, I wouldn't be doing any of this. So like, I, like always, I wear my heart on my sleeve when it comes to my viewers, my fans, my subscribers, everybody out there that supports me and that supports Ducks. We all thank you so, so much. But thank you for watching the Canada Vlogs. I'm sure we're gonna be doing another trip here before long. Meanwhile, I've already done some awesome hunts here in Kansas, so they are on the way. Subscribe if you haven't, guys. If you like this video, you know what to do. Give me a big old thumbs up, and we'll see you on the next one. Have a good one, y'all. Peace.